any gala that we do, we always try to identify one or two humanitarian causes with an educational base. We like to create like a fraternity feeling where um, the established or the recognized or even if they're emerging or the selling artists will uh, in turn, whatever we raise, most of it is put back into identifying the next generation of Iranian artists uh, through the activities that we do through, I mean, one of the major activities is uh, the Magic of Persia Contemporary Art Prize. So that is a two-year process and funds raised are used 80, 90 percent again for the arts. This show, uh, as you know, it's called Remembering Tomorrow. The reason for the title is we would like to kind of honor all the contributing artists as well as all the supporters um, and the collectors and the patrons of the charity in the past 12 years. the artist's donation and by the support of the audience is how we can um, remember tomorrow, today. One of the criteria of the donation is that uh, the artist does not get anything back in return. With that in mind, you can imagine that the artists really have to be very generous and very bigger than life to be able to you know, donate and not expect back. And most of the time on the established artist side, uh, I find that those who are like that are the ones who have arrived. Every action has a reaction. So there's a lot of action in Iran. And what you see, the art that comes out is the reaction, basically. I mean, if there is, everything is nice, nice, sweet, sweet, trust me, there is no art. Nothing comes out of it. Two hundred people tonight will be who are collectors. Tonight's guest list is very different from all our other galas because it's by invitation only. Uh, it's non-ticketed, and it's a way that Magic of Persia is thanking the patronage of these uh, people who will be here t uh, tomorrow night. And the guest list comprised of all the collectors uh, that have ever purchased a piece at the Magic of Persia auction. Uh, the donating artists of this show and as well as most of the sponsors of the different years uh, with a focus on the sponsors of this show again. That is the guest list. Christie's has always been our auction partner. This year they're not because they have their own event tomorrow night and also uh, we have another auctioneer that, that has flown in. It will be flying again tomorrow from London. Sheikh Nahyan but Mubarak Nahyan is my best friend. Leadership, confident, exceptional. They, they call him the uh, Sheikh of the Hearts here in the UAE, I'm told. I want you to all join hands in creating and remembering tomorrow by creating tomorrow tonight. I just want to open the stage and welcome my very, very dear friend, Sheikh Nahyan bin Mubarak Al Nahyan, the Minister of Culture, Youth and Social Development. Please welcome him. By promoting Iranian art and culture to the world, Shirley Al Ghanian and her superb associates are increasing knowledge, encouraging dialogue, enhancing beauty, and nurturing the future. And final warning then, at $3,800 there, $1,000, somebody over here, you can all join.
I started telling you about this um, Puya Aryampur. He is very generous. He always gives us a piece. Nasser Rovesi is a modernist, uh, Iranian artist. His paintings were so popular, they were very modern. A little bit the same era as uh, Picasso. He works a lot with this gold leaf. It's $31,000 and once. Uh, this one is Nusha Tavakolian. Obviously her pieces are quite political. She's a fantastic photographer. About two, three months ago, she won the Prince Klaus Award, Holland. We do have some other high sellers here as well. I mean, like over there we have the Niki Nijumi. He is an amazing artist. It's your last chance at 42,000. And then you have the master over there. Khosrow Hassan Zadeh, he is a very, very established Iranian artist. He had a solo exhibition at the British Museum. It is $17,000. Gentlemen, on my right, is last chance. $17,000. Bahobadi. He is very particular. He works a lot with uh, money. $5,000 selling twice. At $5,000 it is. Very tactical bidding there, right? We have this surprise lot. Uh, it's been donated to us by Shreen Neshaw, the surprise lot. We hadn't announced it until last week. And what that piece is, of course, you won't see it here because it hasn't been made yet. Uh, that piece will be made by Shirin to the commission of the highest bidder. $85,000, $85,000. Lady on the phone. $5,000 selling twice. At $5,000 it is. Buy the speakers at $4,500 at $4,500. At $4,800 down here at $4,800 and you at $2,000. $100 and I'm selling once. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most important things, I think, is to be able to take Magic of Persia and uh, its artists internationally to every city so that there will be a little bit of us everywhere in the world.